Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a full body Pilates workout. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. For today's class, we will be using a light set of hand weights, but don't worry if you don't have weights as you'll still be able to do all the exercises without them. Let's get started seated with our feet hip distance apart and our knees bent. Hold on to the back of your thighs, inhale, lengthen your spine, then exhale, round back. And again, inhale, nice flat back, open through your chest, Exhale, round your spine and gently tuck your pelvis under. Keep going. Moving with your breath, bringing your awareness into your body and into this present moment. One more. Exhale, round back. Really draw your navel in. Inhale, straighten your spine. Take a nice deep breath. Then exhale, round back, roll your shoulders back, and then reach your arms forward. On your inhale, reach your left arm back. Exhale, return through center. Inhale, reach your right arm back. Exhale, return through center. Keep going. Make sure that your pelvis is slightly tucked under, that you're drawing your rib cage down towards your hips, really engaging through your abs. Beautiful job. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, center. One more on each side. Well done. This time, inhale, straighten your spine, reach your arms up. Exhale, round back and circle your arms forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, round back. Really nice job. Just two more. And last one. Hold in your C curve. Bring your fists together with your elbows wide. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Keep going. Really twisting from your waist here, working into your obliques. Just a couple more before we speed it up. Let's go, you twist and twist. Nice, exhale and exhale. Just six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Return through center, release your arms and roll yourself down onto your back. Imprint your spine, so press your lower back down into the floor. Lift your legs to a tabletop position. Take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Making sure your knees are stacked over your hips here and that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest. Let's add on. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift your legs. Inhale, lower your head. And again, exhale, curl. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower your head. Just three more. Make sure your lower back stays in contact with the floor as you tap your toes down. Really working your lower abs. Last one. Well done. Curl your head and shoulders up. And this time, on your inhale, bend your knees, extend your legs out. Exhale, lift them straight up. Inhale, bend and extend. Exhale, lift them up. Three more in this direction and then you know we're going to reverse it. Last one. Keep lifting through your head and your shoulders. Well done. Now reverse. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bend and extend straight up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bend and extend. 
three more. Keep drawing your navel down towards the mat. And last one. Excellent job. Rest your head, hug your knees in and take a little breather. So let's get ready for our hundreds. Either keep your legs in tabletop or extend them straight up to the sky. Lift your head and shoulders and reach your arms by your hips. Pump your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice inhale and exhale. Now let's lower our left leg on our inhale and exhale, lift it up. Other leg, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep pumping your arms. If doing the legs is too challenging for you, just keep your legs nice and still and focus on pumping your arms and drawing your navel down towards your mat. You've got it. Just two more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Woo! Rest your head, hug your knees in. Really good job. Stretch your legs out long, squeezing your legs together, and then reach your arms over by your ears. Inhale, roll up, come up to seated. Exhale, reach over your legs. Inhale, roll back down, vertebra by vertebra. And exhale, arms reach by your ears. And again, inhale, roll up. Exhale, round forward, draw your belly button back. Inhale, roll down with control and exhale, release. Keep going. Really using the control of your core here. This is your last one. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach over your legs. Then inhale, lift your chest, reach your arms up. Exhale, take your hands underneath your shoulders, fingertips facing forward, and lift your hips up. Maybe take your gaze up towards the sky. Really lift through your hips, squeeze your glutes, and then lower your hips back down. Cross your legs, and let's come on to our hands and our knees now. Grab a hold of one weight with your left hand. Make sure that your left knee is in the center of your body and extend your right leg back. Really draw your navel in, and then on your exhale, pull your elbow back towards your waistline and inhale, press back down. Either stay here, or as you pull your elbow back, lift your right leg, then inhale, lower everything down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Just four more. Really focus on keeping your hips parallel to the floor, lifting up through your navel. On this last one, hold everything lifted. Exhale, extend your left arm. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Feel free to set your right foot down on the mat if you need a little extra stability or keep it lifted if you want that challenge. You've got it. Last one, hold your arm extended. Let's set our right toes down and just lift our arm. Four, eight, seven, you've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your elbow, reach your arm forward and lift your leg. Exhale, pull elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Really good. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Six more. Keep your gaze towards the top of your mat, making sure your neck is in line with your spine. You're doing really well. Last one. Now hold everything extended and let's take little lifts just for eight and seven. Nice, exhale and exhale. Four more, you've got it. Three, two and one. Excellent job, drop your weight. 
set your right knee down inhale reach your left arm up to the sky and exhale thread your left arm through the right option to wrap your right arm around your waist if that feels good for you really opening through your right shoulder Then release your right arm back down to the mat and press yourself up. Curl your toes under, press back into a downward facing dog and walk your hands back to your feet, carefully rolling yourself up to standing. Reach your arms up to the sky and let's take some high knees. You just lift and lift, drawing your hands down to meet your knees. Each time that you lift your knees, try to take an exhale, dropping your ribs down to your hips, focusing on engaging your abs. Really nice job. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your arms down by your side, tuck your chin in, roll yourself down and walk your hands back out, coming into your tabletop position. Let's take the weight in our right hand this time and extend our left leg back. Draw your navel in, nice straight spine. Then exhale, pull your right elbow back. Inhale, press the weight down. Exhale, pull. Inhale, press. Option to lift your left leg if you want that extra challenge. So exhale, arm and leg lift, inhale lower. Exhale lift, inhale lower. One more, good job. Hold everything lifted, extend your right arm and bend. Exhale, extend, inhale, bend. Remember, you can always set your left foot down if you need a little extra support or keep it lifted, really reaching through your toes for that challenge. Two more. And last one, hold your arms straight, set your left foot down and take pulses up and up. Just six more. Five, you've got it. Roll your shoulders back. Three, two, one. And one, bend your elbow, reach your arm forward and lift your leg. Exhale, pull elbow to knee, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Six more. You've got it, really lift up through your belly button as you pull your elbow to your knee. Four more. Three. Two and one hold everything extended eight pulses let's go you lift and lift six more five four you've got it three two and one well done time for that stretch let's drop our weight lower your left knee inhale reach your right arm up exhale thread your right arm through the left option to wrap your left arm around your back really opening through your left shoulder then carefully release your left arm back down to the mat and press yourself up curl your toes under press back to down dog walk your hands back to your feet and let's roll back up to standing going back into our high knees let's go you lift and lift nice high knees here maybe picking up the pace a little bit more this time round because hopefully you're nice and warm and you're feeling energized good job nice exhale and exhale Keep drawing your belly button in. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Release your arms down. Tuck your chin in. Roll your body back down and walk your hands forward, coming into your plank. Let's lower our right knee now, coming into a side plank and grab a hold of the weight with your left hand. On your exhale, wrap your waist, then inhale, extend. 
exhale, wrap. Inhale, extend. Either stay here with your bottom knee lifted or come into your full side arm plank. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, extend. Make sure that in your plank that your right hand is directly underneath your right shoulder. You're pressing the floor away from you and you're lifting up through the side of your waist. Just one more, you can do it. Now hold in your plank and lift your hips eight times. You lift and lift. You've got it. Nice exhale and exhale. Four more, three, two, and one. Beautiful, lower yourself down onto your hip. And let's come all the way down now onto our side. Rest your head in your hand, and then bend your knees, getting ready for your clam. Let's place the weight behind our left knee. Then keeping your toes together, let's lift our feet off the floor. On your exhale, open your left knee, Inhale, lower. Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Keep going. Really make sure that your hips are stacked on top of one another in this position and that when you open your knee that you're not allowing that top hip to roll back. Two more. And last one, hold your knee open. My favorite move. Let's tap our knees together and then our toes. Inhale knees, exhale toes. Keep going. Keep squeezing your left heel in towards your glute to keep your weight nice and secure. Two more. And last one, hold your knee open, flex your feet, squeeze your heels together. Let's press our knee back. You press and press. Nice, exhale and exhale. You've got it. Really squeeze your heels together. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Grab a hold of your weight, extend your top leg, and let your bottom leg rest on the floor. Inhale, lower your leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Just resting your weight on the top of your thigh, giving your glute a little extra challenge. Just two more. And last one, hold your leg lifted, flex your foot, little pulses for eight, seven, you knew it was coming, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, from here, a little challenging move. So feel free to drop the weight completely, but extend your legs out long, reach your right arm on the floor and rest your head. Lift your left arm up to the sky with your palm facing towards your toes, and then lift your left leg up. On your exhale, lift your right leg up, inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. This is really challenging for the side of our waist. Now stay with this or lower your arm down to your hip as you lift your leg and then lift your arm as you lower your leg. So arm and leg working together here. Just one more. Hold your bottom leg lifted and then crunch up through the side of your waist, lifting your head and your upper body off the floor. Then inhale, lower everything down and reach your left arm by your ear. And again, crunch up, lift your legs and then inhale, lower back down. Flipping your palm to face your legs as you crunch up and then flip your palm towards your head as you lower back down. You're doing really well. If you are shaking like crazy, like I am, it just means that you're doing it right. You've got it. Exhale, crunch up, lift your legs. Inhale, lower. And on this last one, let's hold everything lifted and take baby scissor kicks 
You kick and kick. You've got it. Just four more. Three, two, and a one. Woo! Rest back down. You should have felt that in the side of your waist. Prop yourself up and inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend to the left for your well-deserved mermaid stretch. Well done. Okay, you know the drill. Let's do that on the other side. So grab a hold of your weight with your right hand. Come into your side plank with your left knee on the floor and your right leg extended. Exhale, wrap your waist. Inhale, extend. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, extend. Option to stay on your bottom knee or come into your full side arm plank. Wherever you are, Really make sure that your left hand is directly underneath your left shoulder and that you're lifting up through the side of your waist. Just two more. And last one. Hold your arm open and let's lift our hips up and up. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one, really good job. Lower down onto your hip, rest your head in your hand, place the weight behind your right knee, and then lift your feet off the floor. On your exhale, lift your right knee, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Making sure you're keeping your toes together and that your hips are nice and stacked on top of one another as you open your knee. On your next one, hold your knee open. Inhale, tap your knees together. Exhale, tap your toes. Inhale, knees. Exhale, toes. Really open your knee out as wide as you can, getting into the side of your glutes. One more. Now hold your knee open, flex your feet, squeeze your heels. Let's pulse the knee back and back. Nice exhale and exhale. Really good. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the weight with your right hand. Extend your right leg, lower your left leg down to the floor. On your inhale, lower your leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Just resting your weight on top of your right leg, giving your glute a little extra resistance. On this last one, hold your leg lifted, flex your foot, little pulses. You lift for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, time for our challenge. Extend your legs out long, rest your head on your arm, and then lift your right arm up to the sky with your palm facing your toes. Lift your top leg, then on your exhale, lift your bottom leg, inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. Now either stay with this or if you want that challenge, as you lift your leg, lower your arm down to your hip and then lift your arm as you lower your leg. You're doing so well. Just two more. Finding the control. Last one. Well done. Hold everything lifted, then crunch through the side of your waist, lifting your upper body off the floor, and then lower everything down, reaching your arm by your ear, flipping your palm to face you. Then curl everything up, lift your legs, lower your arm, and then lower everything back down. You've got it. Really feel like you are dropping your right rib down to your hip to lift your body up and lift your legs. Remember, if you are shaking like crazy, that is a good thing. So just embrace the shake. Only two more, you can do it. 
exhale, crunch up, lift your legs, inhale, lower. Last one, lift everything up and then let's take those scissor kicks. You kick and kick. Just four more, three, two, and a one. Relax everything down, drop the weight, and let's press up for our mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up, and exhale, side bend over to the right. Really good job, everyone. I'm sure you're glad that's over. So let's come into a plank position, press back into down dog, walk your hands back to your feet and roll up to standing. Step your feet out a mat distance apart with your toes turned out and draw your navel in. Inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Inhale, squat, exhale, press. Really sending your glutes far behind you, shifting your weight into your heels. And last one. Now let's hold in our squat and take little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, you've got it, four, three, two, and one. Set your hands on the mat, walk your hands forward, coming into a plank, keeping your feet wide. Pike your hips, reach for your opposite foot, then exhale, return to plank. Inhale, reach, exhale, plank. Keep going. Just four more, and three, two more, and last one. Well done. Walk your hands back towards your feet, roll up to standing, and then make sure your toes are turned out and you're ready for your squats. This time, reach your arms by your ears. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, pull elbow to knee. Inhale, squat. Exhale, pull. Really crunching through the side of your waist as you pull your elbow to your knee. Just two more. And last one. Hold low in your squat. Little pulses for eight, seven, six. You're almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the mat. Walk your hands forward, finding your plank. And let's repeat those taps. You reach and plank, reach, tap and plank. Six more. Really reaching for that opposite ankle. Four more. Three, two, and one. Final move. Lower down onto your forearms. Interlace your hands. Draw your navel in and drop your hips. Walk your feet in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Really pressing through your shoulders. Stay here or level two, jump your feet in, out, in, out. This is your final push of class, so stay with me. Keep lifting up through your navel, pressing down through your shoulders. You've got it, just four more. Three, two, and a one, excellent, drop your knees, press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Let your head rest heavy on the mat and just take some nice big calming breaths in and calming breaths out. Then shift your weight forward to your hands and your knees, curl your toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal your heels, bending your knees if that feels good for you. And then reach your left leg up to the sky, pull your knee forward and step your left foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee and press up into your lunge. Really roll your shoulders back, opening through your heart center as you sink into your hips. Then take your hands to the floor, shift your hips back, straighten your front leg and flex your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold over your leg. Good 
then re-bend your left knee, curl your back toes under and press back to down dog. Other side, reach your right leg up to the sky, exhale, pull your knee forward and step in between your hands. Drop your back knee and press up into your lunge. Really roll your shoulders back, melting into your stretch. Taking nice deep breaths. Then lower your hands to the floor, shift your hips back, straightening your right leg, flexing your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold. Feeling a beautiful release for the back of your right leg. Then re-bend your right knee, curl your back toes under, and this time just cross your left knee behind your right leg, coming onto your glutes. Sitting up nice and tall, drawing your right knee into your chest. Then inhale, reach your left arm up, and exhale, twist over to your right. Really lengthening through your spine here, reaching up through the crown of your head. Then unwind and switch legs, cross your left leg over your right. Sit up tall. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist over to your left. Carefully unwind. And now let's take a comfortable cross-legged position on our mat. Place your right hand on the side of your head and then carefully drop your right ear down to your right shoulder as you wiggle your left fingertips away from your body on the mat to feel a beautiful stretch for your neck. Then drop your chin down towards your chest, continuing to reach away with your left fingertips. Return through center. And then let's switch sides. Place your left hand on the right side of your head. Carefully drop your left ear down to your shoulder, wiggling your right fingertips away from your body. Closing your eyes if that feels good for you. Then drop your chin down towards your chest. Keep reaching away with your right fingertips to feel a beautiful release for your neck. Return through center and release your arms. Let's finish class with one of my favorite moves. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, sweep your body around to the other side, reaching your left arm up and then return through center. And again, inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, sweep around to the other side and come back up. Let's do one more on each side, flowing with your breath. And last one. Beautiful job. Let's finish class today like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's challenging full body Pilates workout. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and have the most beautiful day.